Hey guys, this is Audrey Monkam, your Miss Cameroon 2020. Hey lovely people, it's your girl Onana and I welcome you all to Onana Nation. So today we're going to talk about Miss Cameron Audrey Moncam who is currently receiving a lot of backlash on social media. We have a comedian by name MC Shotgun Palava. MC is out here dragging Audrey on the streets of social media, accusing Audrey for not using her platform of Miss Cameron rightly, saying that Audrey is not standing up for causes that directly affect girls and women in Cameroon, that Audrey is one of the most useless misses Cameroon has ever had. So we are going to read MC Shotgun Palava's message and we are also going to analyze it. We are going to break it down as we always do on this channel. So is this a case of a rejection gone wrong? Because MC Shotgun Palava met OJ Monkam for the first time a few days ago. So what happened in that meeting? Did he ask her out and she gave him a solid iron bucket? <laughs> Maybe this girl said no to him and he's mad now he's ranting on social media. Do you guys think what he says makes sense? Does it make sense or is utter rubbish? We are definitely going to break it down. Stay tuned as we enter the gist right now. So, how did the matter begin? Let's talk from the genesis. You guys already know last week, Daphne J, a Cameroonian singer, she came out here saying that she was violated growing up, talking about her experiences with abuse. So, the whole social media was coming out in solidarity, supporting all victims of abuse. Everybody was saying, Oh, Daphne, our heart breaks for you. We are sorry you went through this. I even made two YouTube videos in solidarity with Daphne. And we were not even done crying for Daphne. We were not even done sending sympathy and love her way it happened again the little minute you guys know what happened to the little girl she was violated and even claimed her life oh poor child so everybody was so mad and enraged on social media we we're saying this has got to stop why do people keep doing this to girls this has got to stop so everybody was learning their platform we we're saying no to stuff like this no to abuse it should stop immediately even brenda bia the first daughter of the nation she's supposed to be apolitical she's even supposed to stay away from things that can cause controversy but she took it upon herself went to Facebook and said, I give you my strength, my sister Daphne. That was her own way of supporting Daphne. We had even Mani Bela La Palapala Uma. Mani Bela went to her platform with her huge following and she said, I stand in solidarity with Daphne. So while everybody was coming out here to say no to things like this, things like this have got to end, they have to stop immediately. One person's silence was particularly troubling. So the thing passed MC Shotgun Palava. He was like, wait a minute, don't we have a miss in this country? Everybody is coming out here to say no to this, no to abuse, no to violence. Where is she? Why is she not talking? So I'm going to read MC Shotgun Palava's message. So MC Shotgun Palava writes and I read, The most brainless miss ever recorded in the history of Miss Cameroon. A wata wata head empty girl. Jesus is Lord! <laughs> I don't really know how important as a miss girl. <laughs> Just the anyhow like spoiled beans. <laughs> People cry here and there about, you know, what happened to Daphne. Miss Cameron, stay quiet. People cry about abuse, nothing from her. Nothing realistic about her in this country, a part of Washington. Tony. What? Snap pictures. Nothing positive has ever come from her, from her side since. She can't even create a challenging project to encourage youths. Think doll like rat. <laughs> Please make the just end her term of office. It not be useful at all. Her own work now to say we are not allowed to be in a relationship as a miss. Sign and out. So this is a very valid message from MC Shotgun Palava, and I absolutely agree with him. Cause you are a miss, and everybody in Cameroon is decrying this violence, this crime that has been done against girls and women, and you're saying nothing. So what are you doing with your platform? Other than sitting and looking pretty, showing us selfies every day, that's not part of your tenure. That's not part of your office. You have to give your voice to girls and women when they need it. That's why you're Miss Cameroon. Be the voice of the missus. Be the voice of the ladies. We're looking up to you. We want you to say something. So MC Shogun Palava made a good message. I agree with everything he said except the last paragraph where he said, her own work not to say we are not allowed to be in a relationship as a miss. That's when I was like, okay. This sounds like a personal vendetta. If she doesn't want to be in a relationship, with you she doesn't want to be in a relationship with you so you guys know um mc shotgun palava met miss cameron a few days ago he must have asked her out and to her defense she said sorry i can't go out with you i can't date you because i'm not allowed to be in a relationship as a miss so that must have tipped him up in the wrong way and he's out here venting dragging her through the streets of social media although the message is valid what she did is wrong she has a platform she's supposed to be using to empower girls and women she's not doing that so mc shotgun palava's message the first part of the message is valid but the last 
last part, however, makes me feel like this is a personal vendetta. You guys know some people don't do well with rejection. Because you guys know there's guys out here that you tell them no and you rub them off in the wrong way. They will go to such great lengths to bring you down to drag you through social media. Is this the case here? We don't know. We can only help but wonder. Is this the case here? We can only help but deduce from what he just wrote. Well, see our beautiful Miss Northwest. So our beautiful Miss Northwest that we were rooting for and we're screaming everywhere, Audrey, Audrey, until she finally won. Now she has won. She has moved to Yaoundé. <laughs> Levels don't change. Any She doesn't have time for what you guys are saying. So this is crazy. You guys must have heard the little Congo that was roaming the streets of social media. People are accusing the organizers of Miss Cameroon. They say that woman is a pimp. She's pimping out these girls to ministers and rich men in Yaoundé. And the girls are serving as Ron's girls for her. So this is what the lady does. As a miss, you're not supposed to get married. As a miss, you're not supposed to be in a relationship. So she's using these young girls, giving them to ministers. This is Audrey here following ministers to ministerial functions where her voice was not heard. She didn't say nothing. She had nothing to do there. All she did was sit down and look pretty and wave at people. So it's just funny the things they do to these young girls. And is this her case? I don't know. Is the lady making her to go with ministers? I don't know. I can only wonder for the little girl. So we may be here blaming her. Her hands are tied. All of a sudden she won. She moved to Yaoundé. Now they're telling her what to do, what to say and what not to say. So maybe the young girl in her mind, she wants to voice her opinion but her hands are tied. You never know. They're making her to be in the company of ministers and men who are, <clears throat> I don't even want to talk. So this young girl may want to talk about things but maybe her hands are simply just tied and she can't talk. Nobody knows. So I also took the liberty of checking previous Miss Cameroons to say what they were saying. I went to the page of Miss Valeria Ina. She's one of the most beautiful Miss Cameroons we ever had and Valeria herself is silent on this topic and it's just funny to me. Like how do they condition these girls' minds? Even at your tenure is over, you're no longer Miss Cameroon, you have nothing to lose. And this is a topic that concerns girls and women around the world. One out of five women have experienced the experience Daphne went through. It's not a funny thing. We have to learn our platforms, however little, however large. We have to let people know this is not right. It's not okay to touch women and girls. If they don't give you their consent, it's not okay. So we have to all come out here, raise our voice, and decry this nonsense that's going on. Why are the misses not saying nothing with their huge platforms? This is unacceptable. Even if they condition your mind, they tell you not to do something, if it's something you're passionate about, you will still do it. If somebody tells me not to fight for my mom, are you crazy? I will fight for my mom to the last drop of my blood. If somebody tells me not to fight for my siblings, are you for real? I will go to the ends of the earth to defend my siblings. Are you for real? They are just not passionate about it and it's sad. So you guys know sometimes when you are the subject of controversy on social media, you may not even know. Sometimes we are too busy with our lives. Somebody may be dragging you somewhere you don't even know. So one of Audrey's friends must have picked up the phone and called Audrey like, girl, you are trending for all the wrong reasons. Pick up your phone, go to social media, go and hear what people are saying about you. Audrey woke up and she took her phone. She ran to her page like, what's going on? She was checking. What are people saying about me? So when Audrey saw the message from MC Shotgun Palava, she must have rolled her eyes and sighed like boy bye because she took to her facebook page immediately to respond that's from one hour ago this is what audrey says one of those days so she's just telling us today is just one of those days where people are dragging her it's nothing to her it doesn't cause she has thick skin she's prepared for this she's prepared for controversy today is just one of her controversial days she doesn't give a damn about what you guys are saying because she knows tomorrow is another day you guys are going to move on you're most probably going to talk about somebody else so that's audrey's seven attitude like i don't care what you guys are saying today is just one of those days i don't care tomorrow will be another that day maybe you guys will jump on somebody else's matter so audrey is serving attitude like please miss me with that bs i don't have time for you guys this morning so that's how audrey showing you guys the stuff she's made of audrey says you don't need anyone's validation to be happy only yours she doesn't care what you guys are saying she doesn't need your validation she makes herself happy she is the boss and she calls the shot okay miss audrey we've heard you we just wish you could use your platform to reach out to girls at the end of the day we cannot force you we cannot come to your only and press your mouth we cannot kidnap you you can only do the things you want to do you're an adult you can only use your platform how you see fit but we are only hoping that as a miss you can use your platform you know to talk about things that are affecting girls and women around the world girls are looking up to you women are looking up to you what are you doing with your platform we expect a lot from you to whom much is given much is expected when we were out here shouting audrey audrey joining our voices in solidarity voting for you it was a live video i was participating on that live when the show was going on i was typing if audrey does not win this is a scam if audrey does not win this is a scam 
somebody should go and look for that video our comments are under there i think that video was on annie cookie's timeline yes you guys should go and look we were rooting for audrey the whole night until you finally won now we need you to root for other people you don't have our time again okay it's like some of us don't know one good turn deserves another when people gather and clap for you and make you where you are today you should also turn around and also throw some people some bones turn around and help people too one good turn deserves another so um on that note we've come to the end of today's video i remain your girl onana and if it is your first time on this channel please go ahead and subscribe and if you've been coming to spy my videos without subscribing they turn that <laughs> they turn that so please go ahead and subscribe and if you love the video please go ahead and share with all your friends and family members so thank you guys a lot for watching subscribe you definitely enjoy this space stay safe everyone i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video goodbye